Recently, I was having a chat with one of the guys on our Discord server about FIFA 14. So I thought, you know what? Let's fire it up and uh, start a career and uh, take a look at this. So Frey Bentos, the manager, is back. This time managing the mighty Roma. And this is probably my favourite FIFA of all time. But what's it like here and now in 2024? It's been a while since I've played this. Um, I will say I loved how snappy these menus were back in the day. I really miss this era of FIFA, the Ignite engine FIFA, I think. Um, if you haven't caught it, guys, check out my uh, FIFA 25 or EAFC 25 video, my first impressions video. That went up yesterday as I'm recording this. And it's going to be interesting after playing quite a few hours of that game to compare, I'll try that again, to compare and contrast this game, this 10, 11 year old game. Now, I think it was released September, September, October of 2013, wasn't it? It was a PS4 or one of the PS4 release games and I bought it the day I bought my PS4 on launch day. I was lucky enough to get it on launch day getting home installing this not really being hyped for it at all not expecting much at all and then just be like i was blown away i always remember what's happened dave big shout out to dave and he was moving house at the time so he wouldn't have been able to play this for a few days because obviously he'd have to move in get settled pick up his ps4 etc and uh, i was like dave mate we've got a game here We've got a game at last. And then the rest is history. We played a lot of co-op. A lot of co-op FIFA. Co-op seasons with this. But anyway, yeah. Let's try this Serie A career save here. I remember career mode in this being interesting. Because you'd get lots of stuff happening off the ball. Or, or away, away from the match, I should say. Such as injuries. Like... You'd get an injury from nowhere to one of your key players that he would have picked up in training. You know, you'd get those kind of messages. I loved that with FIFA and at the time. I'm not sure if you get that these days. You probably do, to be fair. But the gameplay in this game... Oh. Is so good. I'm in! Totti! Oh, what a start. It is on legendary difficulty, guys. This is a very difficult, challenging version of FIFA. What a start. Poor defending there. But lovely finish from Totti. I'm playing the false nine here, guys, in a 4-3-3. The only thing with playing a Serie A career in FIFA 14 is a lot of the teams are fake in Serie B, which was annoying. The licensing for the Italian football in FIFA was always quite bad because, like, Konami had rights, I think, or licenses for a couple of the teams. Hence why I think Atalanta, even now in FIFA 25, they're still called Bergamo. I'd love to have a fully licensed Serie A, Serie B and Serie C. I would love that. So I'm capturing the footage on the PS5, guys. I've brought my, um... Five guys. <laughs> But I, <laughs> I've brought my PS5 upstairs, so I'm capturing directly to the PS5, but I've got my microphone here and all that kind of thing, so you can hear my lovely voice, of course. But this is great. Just the pace of it. The pace, the... The, the way the AI plays, depending on who the opposition is, it just... It's, every match is, feels so different. I like the clean graphical look to this game compared to recent FIFA games, which I think are oversaturated. They're too colourful. They're too bright and in your face. They give me a headache. I just like the pictures and how everything looked in this FIFA. Although, I will say player models in this aren't the best. Or player likenesses. Up close, they look poor. They do look poor. Oh. Oh, it's been a while since I've played this, so I might not be the best, guys. Oh, what's happened there? Livorno are back in this. It's 1-1. One, one. It was a comedy of errors. Uh, 
yeah, the player models are poor, aren't they? They just look weird to me. They they got even worse in FIFA 15. So they got worse before they got better. Like, I think FIFA 25, player models are excellent now. So EA have finally got there. But FIFA 15, like I say, after this, they look dreadful. They're massive, big, overweight, hulking wrestlers. It's just weird. I don't know what they were smoking at EA, <laughs> at EA Sports. This is fantastic, this is. The way it flows. It's so, it feels so slow. It's almost like walking football after playing so much FIFA 25 over the weekend or EAFC, whatever it's called. It's such a, oh. Ah, oh, keeper spills it in the rain. Um, yeah, it's such a poor name for a game. I, I know they had to change it because they lost the partnership with the FIFA governing body. But it's still such a crap name for the game. I would have just called it... Oh, I don't know. Get, <laughs> get your brainstorms in, guys. What would you call your football game? I guess EA does need to be in the name so people still know what it is. I'd just change one letter. <laughs> That's what I would have done. Instead of FIFA, fifth something. That would have really annoyed FIFA, the governing body, though. The organization. That would have really pezzed them off. The rain is lashing down here in Livorno in their fake stadium. I have renamed all the stadiums because I'm a bit of a geek like that. And I've got the stadium's looking like, or as close as I could to their real-life counterpart. I've got my official stadium in this, or Roma have, which is cool. At some point in the video, guys, I'll take a look at the um, FIFA World Cup, 2014 World Cup mode in this. I don't know if you can play a whole tournament. You probably can. But I don't know if you had to buy that. But I saw it in the menus earlier. I'm pretty sure it was DLC you had to pay like 15 quid for though. But I might be thinking of a different fee for I don't know. Is Florenzi. I've turned commentary off because it's quite over the top in FIFA. It was good though. Martin Tyler, Alan Smith. Very good. Out. Or was it was it Andy Gray actually? Assistant cop no, it's Alan Smith. Martin Tyler Alan Smith in this version. Oh, but yeah, I, like I said earlier, I, I was blown away. PS4 version, it it felt next gen to me at the time. The the gameplay felt next gen. It looked next gen. I thought coming from the 360 games because I didn't really buy footy games on the PS3. I bought them on the uh, like I say on the Xbox 360. So yeah, it, it looked shiny and everything looked good and. And it plays well on PS5. I don't think it does anything with the resolution or the frame rate. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I mean, this game, <laughs> this game, I own it on disc still, but this game installs now. And it pulls all the updates down, that kind of thing, in like five minutes. It's such a small game, the file size, which annoys me. Because obviously the new FIFA games, the file size, are gigantic. And they're nowhere near as good, gameplay-wise, in my opinion, of course. But FIFA 14 in 2024, a decade on, fantastic. Still plays a good game of footy. And a big shout-out to our friend on the Discord server who I was talking to. I can't say your username. It begins with an X. <laughs> so he'll know um, who I'm referring to anyway. Come join the Discord server as well, guys. As Napoli go 2 0 up. Just send me a friend request at Chorizo Machine, or not at. It's not Twitter. Come on, Mike. But Chorizo Machine, all lowercase, one word. And I'll uh, invite you to the server that way. It's a cool server. We just all talk about footy, footy games, footy in general, and all sorts. It's a really cool group of people that like minded gamers, like minded people in general. Nice. It's a nice, friendly bunch. It's half time. Livorno one, Roma one. It's very difficult carving anything open against the CPU in this FIFA in legendary. And that was the case in FIFA 15, in 16. It was a hard game on Ignite. And then Frostbite happened. 
I think FIFA 17 onwards has been frostbite, if I'm... Uh, well, I think I'm correct in saying that. Something happened to the AI. Frostbite... Just... It, it's not suited. I'll, I'll say this until I'm blue in the face. Is that the expression? But it's not right for footy games. Because it makes the AI do very strange things. I've set my um, players look to press in numbers. And they, they really do do that. They really follow the tactics in this FIFA. It's a very tactical FIFA this is. It was also very good online. And the reason why it was good online is. Low scoring matches. The pace of it was perfect. Even in normal speed. And Dave and I used to have some amazing footy matches. We used to use Milan a lot. Because Milan in this aren't very good. Well, they're not one of the classic, iconic Milan teams. And I always remember scoring an absolute belter with Balotelli. Like, long ranger. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, go on. Yes. Is it Destro? I'm not sure who that is. <laughs> the celebrations. Oh, it's Totti. Of course, it's Totti again with his second. Destro, what am I on about? Number 10, Totti. But yeah, this goal I scored with Milan, with Balotelli. Again, Dave, Dave feeds me a lovely pass. I always remember it. Balotelli. We went crazy. It was like late on a Friday night. And Dave posted the video on his Facebook. I'll always remember it. Crack me up. Good times. Because PS4 share. Like being able to just capture your clips. And upload them straight to Twitter or Facebook. For its time was mind blowing. I loved the functionality and the... Uh, how seamless it was. How easy it was to do that kind of thing. It did add another depth to your gaming. Showing off these clips to your friends. Bologna have got a goal back. Did I butcher their name? I probably did. That should be mine. But yeah, I don't know how long I'll play this career mode for here, guys. Because I'm going to quit out at some point, maybe. And like I say, we'll try a, a World Cup match. Because it was the Brazil World Cup, wasn't it? So I might try a match with Brazil. I'll choose Brazil. Like I say, I don't know if it's just exhibition games. Or you could play the full tournament. We'll soon find out. If you like the looks of this game, you haven't played it before, guys, or you're considering going back to it, you could pick this up for pennies. And if you're in the UK, rather than eBay, I would recommend Music Magpie, which is not affiliated with Newcastle United. <laughs> don't worry. I don't think it is. But it's um, they've always got loads of the old PS4 games and stuff on there for pennies. Uh, let's have a look here. Save Totti. It's working well for Totti in that false nine. I like this formation in FIFA 14. I like that striker just dropping in there. Like a shadow striker of sorts. He almost becomes an attacking midfielder. And then you've got your two wingers. The two wide men will get you goals then. It's just, it's just ideal when you've got a team like Roma, this Roma side, with Totti, who hasn't got pace. He's more of a clever player. He's a good finisher, as he's proved in this match. This is fantastic. Have I already said that? Have I already told you guys that this is fantastic? Now, is it the best FIFA of all time? Because I'm always saying this is my best, or this is my favourite FIFA. Yes. I, I still think it is. Like, World Cup South Africa is up there. But that's a generation before this. And it's incredible. That is an incredible game. But it looks and feels its age now, I would say. Last time I played it on 360. No, PS3 version. <gasps> oh, my days. And it's, the <laughs> and it's the woodwork. Twice. But stays out. The physics are fantastic. Uh, yeah, FIFA World Cup is up there. So, uh, South Africa 2010 for sure. What a FIFA game that is. Destro! Oh! It's over now. If it wasn't over before, it's over now. Livorno will feel hard done by here. 
But yeah, it's been a while since I've done a career on this. Last career I did on this game was Sp a Spurs career. It was very enjoyable. Because it's the Spurs squad that had just sold... Or it's around the time where Spurs had just sold Gareth Bale in the summer. And then they spent all that money on the likes of Soldado, uh, Lamella, and, and a few other players. And they were all pretty poor. And it's good, like, rebuilding that Spurs side. They've also got a very young Harry Kane in it. Like, he's extremely young. He, like, wears the 37 shirt or something. Oh, it's Lajic. However you say his name. For Roma, I remember him well. Uh-oh, is Greco. I like how the the um, trajectory of the ball... Or rather, I like how much the ball changes... Changes trajectory. It's the right word. In this game compared to other FIFAs. It's, it's its own end to see the ball. It behaves like a football should. And EA were on to really good things with Ignite. Like, really good things. If they kept Evolve in this football game, it would have become just an incredible series. Because everyone liked FIFA 15. Some people aren't keen. FIFA 15 is very fast. You have to put it down to slow if you want to enjoy that game. 16, some hail as the best FIFA of all time. Again, it's a bit too quick for me. Ooh. Hey. Yeah, FIFA 16 is a bit too quick. I've, I own that on PC. But it's good to patch FIFA 16. You could patch that game. You could patch the hell out of it. And you can, like, add current day squads and stuff. There's some good patches flying around for that. But this is the game for me. FIFA 14. It was the slowest. It was the most organic to play. And Roma get the three points at first time of asking in their first Serie A fixture. But we will take a look at some international football next. So the only other result there, as you could see, Napoli beating Bologna in the end. 3-1. It's a promising debut from Benatia. And Totti turns back the clock. Look at this. I loved all this. This is cool. And I loved these clean, simplistic menus to get yourself around. I like these career mode menus. They looked good, I thought. I was never too sure on the manager customization that it offers you, though, at the beginning. There's no point in doing it. You never see your manager on the touchline, or at least you never see the manager you thought you were going to, you thought you had designed, if that makes sense. Um, so it's just a friendly, guys. We've got some Brazil again. Let's do England. Brazil against England for the lols. Did England get to this World Cup? I think they did, and I think they went home quite early. If I'm remembering correctly. Is it the World Cup where Brazil beat Germany 7-0? Or Germany beat Brazil 7-0? I can't remember which way around it was. I think Germany beat Brazil, I'd like to say. I don't know. Anyway, I've never tried this mode in FIFA 14. This must have come after, like, much later on. After I'd stopped playing FIFA 14, maybe. I don't know. Look at this. It looks fantastic. Is it the Americana? Is that the name of this stadium? Oh, we've got different commentators, of course, because it's a cup. It's an international cup. You won't hear them. You'll only have to put up with my voice. Uh, the player models are all right. I think I was a bit overly critical on the player models. They look fine, don't they, really? They look absolutely fine. Leighton Baines there. He looks great, his uh, player likeness. As the confetti blows around the stadium. Does confe confetti blow around the stadium? I'm sure it does, doesn't it? I was just trying to find the right word there. <laughs> anyway, there's Hulk. Hulk Hogan. Oscar. What happened to him? He went to China, didn't he? Never hear about him anymore. Some good players, though, Brazil had at their disposal. Thiago Silva loved this guy. Yeah, this feels fantastic. It's Rio de Janeiro for this World Cup finals match, of course. Got the official World Cup ball by the looks of things. Was it called the Jubilano? or was that South Africa? I don't know. Here's Lampard. Welbeck. Oh, this England team were crap. 
Oh, Starridge is in. This might be 1-0. It's a good save. Not sure about that weird animation that happened then with the goalkeeper, Julio Cesar. Was he into Milan's keeper? I think he was, wasn't he? But yeah, this is fantastic. FIFA 14 in 2024. Still the best FIFA of all time, in my opinion. The PS4 version, though. PS4 and X, not Xbox 360. I'll try that again. The PS4 and Xbox One. Is that Andros Townsend? I don't remember him playing for England. How the hell did he get a game in England? <laughs> yeah, still the best. PS4 and the Xbox One versions of FIFA 14. I can't speak for the 360. That'll be something to check out, won't it, for the channel, actually. I'll get a hold of that, guys. 360 version of this, if there is one. I'm sure there is. Of course there is. Because I took a look at FIFA 18 360 version on the channel. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Please, please check this game out if you haven't tried it before. I'll speak to you all soon.